Today is 26th of February 2024. Yesterday night we came from Gulmarg at around 12 at midnight. So we were extremely tired so we decided to start today's journey quite late. Around 11 am. There is no problem of summer in Srinagar. So wherever you go you will find comfortable weather right now. But the main problem was cloud. Sometimes sky becomes cloudy and you can't see everything what you went for. Luckily it was not cloudy in the morning time. So we decided to take breakfast and rest some time more and then started our journey. At first we went to Shalimar Bagh which was not very far from our hotel. Shalimar Bagh was one of the oldest gardens in the whole Srinagar area. It was made of around 30 acres of land around 400 years ago. And this Farsi architecture or the Persian architecture was very famous in this garden we decided to have a look in the morning and while walking down the roads of this garden we found kawati whenever we found kawati we did not miss a chance to test that one i don't know what is called the authentic kawati but every time you taste kawati it's different from the older one then we reached the next park jawaharlal nehru botanical garden it's not that old but it's very famous because it has a huge land and it is full of garden and the gardens are quite well maintained and the view of himalaya from this park is really amazing we have seen many people doing photo shoot here and some people were doing pre wedding shoot kind of thing because of the view of himalaya the snowy mountain behind the garden you can spend quite some time here but we don't have much time to spend in this park as well because there are many things to cover on srinagar as well the garden is so well decorated and there are some types of trees which are classified and kept together so that it increase the beauty of the garden usually if you come in this area you will find two types of trees one type of tree a like dubious tree which does not have leaves in winter and there is another type of tree which are usually this kind of tree which has leaves almost all around the year even in snowfall this is a nice place to walk around and if you have some food you can come with that food have it here you can spend the whole day in a park if you have quite a long itinerary in srinagar or kashmir but we unfortunately did not have we had to cover this park with only 40 to 45 minutes but i guess that was enough to visit the whole park then we came to chashme shahi chashme shahi is one of the most famous parks in Srinagar it is not a very huge park but it is a kind of elevated space so the whole park is made in some elevated area from where you can see the snowy mountain at back and dal lake from the top this makes the beauty more amazing from this park after that weather became suddenly cloudy and we decided not to go to shankaracharya temple today rather we are going back to the house boat we are going to stay in the house boat for tonight 
I came to Srinagar in June 2018. That time I stayed in houseboat as well, and after that, this is 2024. I am going to stay in houseboat again. This Shikara ride is a memorable one. Every time if you go to this Shikara, they will roam around here and there, and there are some. businessman who sell kawa tea jewelry fruits and many more things they will come near your shikara and they will sell their products to you right now the mountain is snowy so it's a very nice location to capture picture when you are in shikara and there is a snowy mountain at back and you are in the middle of dal lake We spent around one and a half to two hours in this shikara. We started around 2:45 and ended our journey to houseboat around 5 p.m. If one is interested in water sport, you can find your option here as well. There are jet skis, but hardly any people were using this kind of facilities in Dal Lake. Dal Lake is not that deep; might be. as deep as like 3 to 4 story building and there are some algae under the water it is full of birds coming from middle asia and southeast asia these birds come all along from this place to get the taste of this algae which usually grown under the water and they come only one time in a year and then again they go back Now we are entering in the floating market of Dal Lake which is almost in the middle of Dal Lake you can find shawls winter costumes sarees and dry food we came back to houseboat still it's not evening so we decided to go in srinagar main market again we took another shikara and decided to go to main city market This is the last evening for all of us in Srinagar. Tomorrow morning we will leave for Pahalgaon and from there we will directly go to Jammu and to our hometown. Last night in Srinagar the house boats are blinking with the colors of the light and we are near the dal lake at around 0 degree celsius next morning we started our journey quite early because we have to visit the shankaracharya temple and shankaracharya temple is at a hill which is around 
500 meters above the altitude of Srinagar. So we started our journey to the bank of Dal Lake from where the driver came and took us to the peak of the Shankaracharya hill. This mountain is maintained by military and we started our journey to Shankaracharya temple. You can see the snow here and there and it's around minus 2 to minus 3 degrees Celsius in this area because we are quite an high altitude than the Srinagar main city. If it were not cloudy, you could have seen the view of Srinagar from here. But today is a cloudy day. After driver left us, we had to climb around 300 stairs. And then we are going to enter the main Shiva temple. It is said that Shankaracharya who was born in Kerala was traveling all around India, came here and here he got an idea of Tantra which he was not a firm believer of and after that he changed his mind and wrote a book of Tantra, the beauty of the depiction of Goddess in the name of Shandariya Lahiri. The main temple you can only enter barefoot. So right now I am barefoot and my legs just shivering. There is a Shiva Linga in that temple. It's extremely cold right now here. Hope to see you again from somewhere in the world like share and subscribe my youtube channel goodbye everyone